dozens of blockbusters hit screens as the millennium came to a close, but only a few received the acclaim necessary to reach 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Keep watching to see which 90s hits made the cut. The premise of 1991's Only Yesterday is well-worn. A single, career-minded woman discovers happiness in love outside of the big city. However, this anime film provides its own masterful approach, adapting the manga story of the same title by Hotaru Okamoto and Yuko Tone. With the adaptation helmed by Iso Takahara, the movie follows working professional Taika Okajima as she leaves Tokyo to visit the countryside, reflecting on memories from her upbringing. But I was terrible at fractions. Sometimes I just wished that it had been easier for me. Only Yesterday came out at a time when realistic dramas focusing on women's stories were not commonplace in anime. Like the manga source material, Only Yesterday is a frank and engaging look at women's lives in modern Japanese society as Taiko realizes how she wants to live. The only real travesty behind Only Yesterday is that the film did not receive an official North American release until 2016, a staggering 25 years after its debut. Acclaimed screenwriter Steve Zalian made his directorial debut with 1993's Searching for Bobby Fischer. Based on the 1988 book by Fred Waitzkin, the film is focused on Waitzkin's chess prodigy son, Joshua. After Fred discovers that his young son is a naturally gifted chess player, he pushes him to hone his skills, creating friction between them. Their relationship is tested, as Josh begins entering national chess tournaments at his father's urging, with Fred feeling his son could become Grandmaster Bobby Fischer's successor. Your son creates like Fischer. He sees like him. At its core, Searching for Bobby Fischer is a story about fathers and sons. Chess is only the backdrop for the tale and does not hinder the viewing experience for those unfamiliar with the game. Beyond the dynamic between Josh and Fred, Josh's relationship with his chess mentor, Bruce, faces challenges of its own as the boy learns the intricacies of the game. Searching for Bobby Fischer is a coming-of-age movie that appeals to audiences of any age, with a winning cast delivering its paternal themes. The 18th century French Revolution espoused ideals of equality, liberty, and fraternity. The latter virtue is explored in the 1994 film Three Colors, Red. The final film, written and directed by Krzysztof Kieślowski, Red is the last installment of his Three Colors trilogy. True to its theme of fraternity, Red follows deep friendships and connections forged by different groups of people throughout the Swiss city of Geneva during the revolution. Red is vibrantly brought to life by recurring crimson imagery across its depiction of flourishing friendships, elevated by a sentimental yet invigorating score by composer Zygmunt Preisner, Red is perhaps the warmest of the Three Colors trilogy, driven by its interconnected stories. This film would prove a bittersweet end to Kishlovsky's career, as it was the last film he made before his untimely death in 1996. Three Colors Red fulfills the promise of his ambitious three-part project by saving the best for last. After helming a pair of well-received comedies, filmmaker Richard Linklater turned his attention to the possibilities of true love in an idyllic getaway for his next project. Pairing actors Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy, 1995's Before Sunrise saw their characters meet by chance as they were passing through Vienna. So listen, here's the deal. This is what we should do. You should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town. Developing an instant attraction, the two shared their thoughts on a variety of subjects as they wandered the streets of the Austrian city together. Set across a 12-hour window before the two young lovers part ways and return to their respective lives, Before Sunrise proves less is more. Driven entirely by thoughtful dialogue, engaging chemistry between the movie's charismatic leads and the Viennese backdrop, the movie's no-frills approach works beautifully. Linklater, Hawk, and Delby would explore the lives and spiritual growth of the characters they created in two subsequent sequels that were each met with similar acclaim. Pixar Animation Studios is synonymous with quality and Academy Award-winning animation. Their iconic legacy began with the studio's first feature film, Toy Story. Taking the simple premise that sentient children's toys come to life when humans aren't looking, Toy Story follows a cowboy doll named Woody, who grows jealous after his owner acquires a Buzz Lightyear action figure. It looks as though I've been accepted into your culture. Your chief, Andy, inscribed his name on me. After Woody and Buzz come to blows, they must learn to work together or lose their lives with Andy forever. 
Boasting an all-star voice cast led by Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, Toy Story largely spearheaded American animation's shift to CG feature films. More than just putting Pixar on the map as an eventual Disney powerhouse, many of the animation industry's most acclaimed figures were key parts of the movie's production, including John Lasseter, Pete Docter, and Andrew Stanton. Spawning an entire line of sequels and spin-offs, Toy Story remains the crown jewel in Pixar's film catalog. Pixar quickly proved that it wasn't a one-hit wonder studio, and it caught lightning in a bottle again with the 1999 sequel Toy Story 2. As the toys settle into their new home, Woody is discovered to be a rare antique. He's subsequently stolen by an unscrupulous toy collector. This leads Buzz to assemble his friends to stage a daring rescue mission, recovering Woody before he can be shipped off to a museum for good. Simply put, Toy Story 2 is a sequel done right. It goes bigger and bolder with its premise and cast while keeping sight of what made its predecessor so effective. Lucky? Are you shrink-wrapped? I am missing my arm! The sequel inverts the core premise of the original Toy Story. Instead of Woody trying to rescue Buzz, Buzz must now rescue his cowboy friend. Toy Story 2 dials up the action, scope, and emotion, delivering a pitch-perfect sequel that cemented Pixar's place in the animation industry. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.